I haven't uploaded a proper video for... It's been a month already? Here's how the dev team absolutely saved the classic band. Going into it, it seemed like it was gonna be an alright band but pretty mid, with rewards very heavily geared towards cosmetics and towards newer players, and the game modes weren't even looking that fun. Mirror match was looking okay and you can actually just skip a matchmaking for example if there was Mortis in Bounty and you just did not want to play that, you could just wait a couple hours and play it later without giving up a star token. But drumroll was terrible, because it basically encouraged to steal kills as much as possible, giving you a full heal and full ammo after, so you had no risk in going in if you knew you were gonna get the kill. And this would have been easily solved if they had just played the game and realized this is how you play this game, this is bad, this is not fun, and they just fix it. It was a temporary event that you only had to win one time a day, so it was excusable. Except when the matchmaking takes 25 minutes. Which is a whole other discussion, the matchmaking has been broken for way too long. If all of this was bad, why do I say that the dev team saved this event? Well, it comes down to the feeling of the players. At the beginning of the event, you take 3 full days to farm for 1 mega box, and the rewards are so terrible and so just disappointing in average that most people will get absolutely nothing for those 3 days and most free-to-play players could only get 10 mega boxes for the event, meaning that the chances of you getting absolutely nothing was very very large. However, the error in the matchmaking of the mega pig forced the devs to give us something in compensation and apart from the lazy oh here's a free mega box, they actually got to work and made every single day be worth playing all 8 games. And this was great because the 6 normal game modes and the 2 temporary game modes made up for the 8 wins daily, so you could just win one game uh, in every single game mode and get 8 tokens, plus more stun tokens from the quests if you were doing those 2, and basically get a full mega box per day every day in the weekend and 8 tokens otherwise. This was also aligning with the 8 wins that you have to do daily for the star drops, and it worked very very well. Basically, giving more mega boxes increased the percentage of people who got a really good drop, and that overshadows a lot of the very sh drops that they get otherwise. So, for example, I got a 100 gem drop. Granted, it was in my mini account, but I actually need the gems more in my mini account than in my main account. And I basically forgot about the other 9 mega boxes that were before that because the rewards are so skewed that most mega boxes will have nothing and then there's a very small chance of having something that is so much better than anything else that was only reserved for a couple people before because you could only get 10 mega boxes but with the exchanges where you got basically double the amount a lot of people got all the Rico skins and all the exclusive profile icons and pins and it was actually really good for most players, even if you were completely maxed out, you would get a lot of cosmetics and decent progression through coins, gems and powerpoints, and if you were not, you had a decent chance to pull out a brawler. But one thing that was missing in the mega boxes that I wish they put, if the mega boxes are coming back, which we know they are, but we don't know when, is gadgets and star powers, maybe even hyperchargers, because that's the one thing that was missing. Most people are not gonna care if you get maybe 100 more coins per day, 100 more power points per day. On average, it is not. It is a good progression, but it's not exciting for players to just open a mega box and get a bit of coins, a bit of power points, and like one gem or two gems. It's not gonna, it's not gonna change much in their feeling of the event. But by adding gadgets, star powers and hypercharges with a decent chance, for example, I remember that it was around 1% to pull uh, in the old mega boxes, it would be great because it allows players that, for example, already have all the brothers to get all the star powers that they're missing and they are saving 2000 gold suddenly in a day instead of getting 100. And it also allows players that are new to the game to get either a huge stack of coins if they have no hypercharges, star powers or gadgets available to get, or they get the ability to then unlock it later as they power up the brawler. So I think 
that was the really obvious thing they missed but other than that the event turned out much better than I expected that's actually a huge win for the dev team